Hey guys, this is Shane with Hawkins Joyful Bees, and today I want to do an unboxing of this product that we got from Hillco. Uh, we pre-ordered, no, we didn't pre-order this one. This one we did pick up while we was at the North American Honey Bee Expo. Uh, we did get a couple other things that we pre-ordered, but this one we actually was a spur of the moment purchase. And uh, so I just wanted to do an unboxing and right off the bat, one thing I like about this and I notice is these handles you can push out and carry it. Makes it so easy to pick up and move around. But this is the seven gallon heated bottling tank and uh, it came out during, uh, just right before the North American Honey Bee Expo. So they had this as one of their promotions there and uh, was able to get a good price on it. So we'll go ahead and get this open and see what it looks like. <clears throat> One of the other things that we did purchase was their, uh, the, their filling tank or filling, what's it called, a bubbling filler, their speedy I can't remember what it's called. Uh, that video's on here too. Yeah, we do have the video. I first thought that was called the Easy Fill, but I think it's the Speed Fill. It's the Hillco Speed Fill Honey Bottler. So uh, it's it's automatic. You just put the little canister, your bottle, right there on the scale, and it pre-measures it, and it shuts off and turns on automatically. It's really cool. I finally got it out. Okay, so, looks like we've got, oh, that's kind of neat. They got this really done good. It's like, see, Mom, I've been framed. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. It's almost like a slinky effect. I have noticed with everything we've unboxed with Hillco is their packaging is amazing. They have done good. Oh, this is Lisa, my wife. She's the one holding the camera and speaking. And look, they even have uh, foam. They have the foam in Down, here. Like right so there. It, yeah. So things and little debris doesn't get That's inside. Nice. <clears throat> it's very nice. They packed it very well. And I'm not sure what all that is down there, but I would imagine that it must need to be secure or it wouldn't be done there. But it does. It's a seven gallon. And see, I didn't know it came with a lid. I'm really happy about that. I was kind of curious whether it'd have a lid or not. Because when it was on display, it was all open and it didn't have a lid on it on the display model. All oh, right, nice. so let's see if I can get this out. Oh, yeah, that's not too bad at all. Just kind of kick that over. Let's set this down. Behind me here. Okay. So <clears throat> we have a thermometer down here. I think that the thermometer measures the the water that's inside between the double wall. And this is the spout. Yeah, this is a thermometer. This is the spout that you would drain your water out. I believe this is where you fill the water at. And this probably is a indicator. Um, and this is probably where the uh, heating element goes into. And measures the honey. And then you got your, or maybe this is it. One of the two, I don't know, because I, I haven't looked at the instructions. But uh, one of them, your element would go into, and the other one would be your um, honey gate. And I would say that might be your honey gate because it's lower. I like the handles that you can pick it up and carry it. That is a very good idea. I really like that. So this is the heating element, I can tell already because I see the metal there, and you got your screen. Let's see if I can get my knife out here. Let's 
And they did a very good job at wrapping this up in this bubble wrap. Because you definitely want it protected. You don't want it in there banging around during transportation. We're getting it. Well, they did a very good job. They got it in there secure. And that's what we want. All right. So this is Hilco LLC beekeeping equipment. So this here is your thermostat. It's digital. And you got your on and off switch, and then you got your heating element that screws into the tank, and you put your water in there, and it heats the water up, and you set your temperature. Now, we don't like to heat our honey very hot because we don't want it to kill the enzymes, so we usually keep it around, around 90, 95 degrees. Uh, maximum would be 100. I know the bees keep their honey. Uh, in the hive at the temperature of around 97, 98 degrees. So we don't want to go too much higher than that, that's for sure. And this, I'm not sure, oh, this would be the honey gate. I wasn't sure what this was gonna be. But we're gonna to have to use something to dispense the honey with. And that would be this product right here. And again, they did an excellent job at securing this. It probably wouldn't hurt to sharpen my knife a little bit. So this is the Hillco Honey Gate Quick Fill or Quick Dispense. I'm not sure what they call it, but I know that you turn this sideways like that. The honey flows through here and comes out down here, and you simply press down on this, and it opens and fills it. Opens this down here. <clears throat> so. Like that. You got your plunger right there. And that makes the honey flow or stop. And it's the dripless system. So it doesn't just sit there and keep dripping. <clears throat> so this is going to be a game changer. We really like it. I've also noticed that if you look at the bottom, if you can see, it's where the hole comes out and the honey goes out of there through the gate it's recessed so you don't have to tilt your bucket for the honey to flow out it just sits flat and the honey will automatically go down into that little groove so you don't have to do any of the tilting and I think that is just phenomenal idea whoever thought of that did a great job so yeah this is the seven, gal <clears throat> seven gallon Hillco heated bottling tank thanks guys for watching Please like, share, and subscribe, and comment down below. You guys have a great day. God bless. Bye-bye.